Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you all the pets, not just my pets, but all the pets in the house. There are only three other pets that are not mine, but I wanted to include them because my subscribers already probably have a good idea of the pets I have. And you can just look at my channel art and the outro to my videos to see what kinds of pets I have. That is why I'm including the three others you wouldn't usually see on my channel. Unless you're new, of course, to the channel, then you probably don't know any of the pets I have. <laughs> Of course, you could still look at the channel art and the outro to my videos to find out. But anyways, that said, let's get this started. This is my dog, Cody. He's a Pomeranian. He weighs 10 pounds, and I got him off Craigslist six years ago. He's about nine years old now. When I got Cody, he already had the name Cody. I just decided to keep it as Cody. This is supposedly the family dog, but he never really liked us kids so he's more of my parents dog anyways he is believed to be a mix of something but the closest i could find of what he might be is a black flat coat retriever he's about 60 pounds and black as you can see with a white stripe on his chest he is nine years old as well but he will be turning 10 in a couple months his name is Turk, and we also got him off Craigslist, but we got him as a puppy. And we didn't really raise him very well because you can't really tell him to do anything. And he's very grumpy and mean and doesn't like a lot of things. So this is my hamster, Oscar. He is a black Russian dwarf. If you want to see the video of me getting him, I will link that in the description. So yeah, this is Oscar. I often call him Oski. He was very scared when I first got him, but, but now he's just perfect. So this is my community fish tank. In here I have a dwarf gourami, a platy, and there's supposed to be five cory catfish, but one of them is missing. I'm gonna have to go find him when I clean their tank tomorrow. He's been missing for days, and he's most likely dead. But uh, normally I have neon tetras in here as well and guppies, but due to a previous ick outbreak, um, I lost them all, except the ones that are in here. But the ick is all gone, the tank has recovered, and I might be getting new fish soon, which will most likely be neon tetras and guppies again. These are my beta fish. The one on the right is Dahlia. She's named after the flower Dahlia, but I actually call her Dahlia often. Anyways, she is my elephant ear female beta. And to the left we have Crimson, my red and white delta tail male beta. For my crabs I've got Coconut here. She is my largest crab. And I've had all my crabs for about four years now. I have five total. This next one is Shelly. She is my second largest crab. This one is Thea whose name used to be Theo. Before I knew their genders, that's what this one's name was. But I didn't want to change it too much, so I just went with Thea instead of Theo. She is my third largest crab. And now this is Mango, my only boy crab. He is the fourth largest. He doesn't like to eat very much, so he's not growing too fast, but that's him. And the final one is my smallest crab, or at least used to be. She's kind of the size of mango now. Anyways, this is Cupcake, and that's all my crabs. So now for the remaining two pets, which are not mine. They're actually a recent addition to the household, and they belong to my sister. So this is my sister's black kitten named Yami, which means darkness in Japanese. Our brother actually chose that name for him. He is a boy and he's so cute. And now this is his brother who is also a boy and he's gray with some white on him. And his name is Kosa, which is also Japanese and it means cross. And we chose that name because he has a cross shape on his chest. And we got both these kittens off Craigslist just like the dogs. So yeah. Those are my sister's new kittens. And that was all the pets.